how to make a featured product slider in Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a featured product slider. So when you open up a e-commerce store, you want your featured products to be present in a slider. So how can you add that to your Shopify store without any coding experience? So I'm going to show you step by step how you're going to add that. It's very simple and easy and you just have to copy paste some code. So don't worry about it now. To get started with creating our slider, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go on to your Shopify account. And from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on online store. So whatever online store that you have created, it doesn't matter what kind of theme you've used, anything like that. All of that is unimportant. All you have to do is click on online store and you don't even have to open up the website editor. You're just going to click on actions over here. And once you click on actions, what you're going to do is you're going to click on edit code. Now, don't worry. It's very simple. You don't have to be very tech savvy i myself i'm not a tech savvy person but i can still very easily add my featured product slider so once you click on the edit code what you're going to do is you're going to be with this kind of empty template file and you can see on your left you have all of these different sections so on your top section you have your layout and on your layout what you're going to do is you are going to click on theme.liquid so it's very simple go into your online store i'll repeat just to show you guys uh, so you can follow step by step Go into your online store, click on the code editor, edit or edit code. So you're just going to go into your online store. So just click on your online store, click on actions, click on edit code. And from here, click on theme.liquid, which you will find in the layout section. So just click on theme.liquid in your layout section. And once you enter that, what you're going to be faced with is the code. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and scroll down until you find the body text. Now on the body text, what you're going to do at the end of this code, uh, what you're going to do is you're gonna go on to paste bin. So paste bin is where you're going to add your uh, collection slider. Now, what you're going to do is you're gonna copy these two lines, which are the first two lines of our code, and you're just going to copy these and you're gonna go back into your editor and you are just going to paste these over here like so just like that you're just going to paste these right at your copy section so we're going to just add this over here so add it like so we're just going to add it above over here above your little body section we're going to paste it just like so we're just going to place it like this and once you have pasted these two lines what you're going to do is you're going to click on save over here and what these two lines basically are is that you have Flickety. So you're basically adding Flickety, which is a simple and easy slider. And what this does is that this enables the Shopify to create your slider. So your slider is going to be the Flickety slider. Now to add your actual content, what you're going to do is you're just going to take a look at all of these sections over here. And now after you have added your theme liquid what you're going to do is you're going to go into your left you're going to scroll down and then you're just going to click on sections over here and from sections you're going to click on add a new section and you can name it a liquid and you're going to click on create section and once you create this new section you're going to delete all of this information so in your liquid section what you're going to do is you're going to go back into paste bin and from there you're going to scroll down and once you scroll down you're going to find schema so we're just going to scroll down over here and you're going to find schema so over here in line 79 you have your schema and you're just going to copy that until you have the end of your schema so you are just going to copy copy until you have line 111 which is end schema you're going to copy this and then you're just going to paste it on the new section that you created so you're just going to click on paste and then you are going to click on save now what this new section over here the schema section enabled shopify to do is that you have your range and you have the title you have the id labels and the maximum id minimum id and the category and all of those details in the schema section so this enables shopify to add your slider and add the presets of the slider to fulfill the presets of your slider so once you have added that you're just going to click on save and now if you go back into your uh, online store you go into your dashboard you're going to be able to customize so you're going to click on customize over here and once you click on customize what you can do is let's say you have add section and in your section you can find collection slider or featured collection and if you click on show more 
is going to scroll down and you can see all of your different featured collection sliders over here. So you can see over here that this is your collection slider and then you can just add your featured collection over here. So you can choose the collection you want, the products you want or the collections you want. This is like the basic kind of layout and you're going to be able to add any kind of new presets with the code that you can find on Pastebin. So this really enables you to be able to create a uh, gorgeous looking professional flyer and uh, to customize your Shopify store other than leaving it at its bare basics. So it's just not all skin and bones, but instead your Shopify store looks very professional and it looks like you put a lot of effort into it. So once you have your sliders, you can add whatever uh, content you want. So uh, if you have added a featured product, you can have them displayed directly. I haven't uh, categorized any product as featured product, so that's why I don't have any product showing up. But if you have your product categorized as featured product, then they will obviously show up in your featured products collection. So once you do that, you're going to save all of your settings and you're going to exit after that. And then you can view your website to see how it looks like, if there's anything else you want to change. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own featured product slider on Shopify. And if you know anyone else that uh, really needs some help in creating their own Shopify sliders or any kind of code information, you can easily find it on Pastebin. They're a great tool for you to use. Once you have like a basic understanding of how to copy paste the code, you can easily copy paste any any kind of code and customize your Shopify store or any kind of uh, e-commerce website or business or e-commerce storefront that you want with the code that is available on Pastebin. So we are about to end this video and to end it on a good note, I would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions. At the end of the day, it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well. And at the end, I would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps out our videos a lot. And again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, goodbye.